Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL, and if you've ever wanted to join on a piece of a column, such as a code, then you'll definitely want to watch this video. All right, so what do I mean by joining on a piece of a column? So let me set up a scenario for you here using a project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a project, and we're going to create one and go through the steps of what I mean by joining it. So I'm going to create this project using a create project table command and then we're going to insert some values into this project and so I'm going to insert into this project the name, the ID, the name, and the account number. So you can see I got the ID, the project name, and the account number. So let's do that. All right, now I'm going to comment this stuff out so I don't rerun it again. And then what I want to do is do a select star from project just to show you what this thing looks like. And what I mean by joining on a code is, is the person who set up these projects didn't really do a good job of coding in the project names. And what they were supposed to do is just type in the the code of the project, which would have been like M385 or R797, 9108, F1432, or the FK89Z. They added all sorts of other stuff around it. And you're going to see that's going to make it really hard for us to relate to other tables. In fact, I have another table that we're going to relate to. So I'm going to, excuse me, get rid of this. with bring in the other table that we want to try to combine with, which is the project status. So I'm going to bring in a command to create the project status table. We'll run it. And then let's insert some rows for that right here. OK. And let me show you the dilemma now. So I'm going to do a select star from project and then select star from project status. What I want to do is I want to create a result that would show me my project name and account number with the project status. And right now I can't do this because I don't have a really good way to join if I was to join this right now, you're going to see that the only ones that really match are the Project 9108. In fact, let's try it and just see what happens. So if I do uh, select star, actually let's do um, from project P, and then I'll do um, P dot project name and P dot count number. And then we'll call the other one S dot project status. We'll do an inner join project status on. We're going to do P dot project name equals um, S dot project name. All right, and I'm just going to capitalize this just so it looks nicer. And when I run this, oh, it's it's uh, doesn't like the these columns because I forgot to alias my project status. So I got to put an S behind there. Now everything's good. I run it, and there, look at the only comes back with one row. And you might go, well, what happens if you try like a outer joint? So let's do like a left join on that and see what happens. Well, you can see I, I get all the, the projects from project, but I only really get one that joins the project status, right? And that's you know, the other ones come out as null. So what gives? What can we do to make this better? Well, what I'm going to do is introduce you to a really cool function called string split. Okay, so what I want to do here with... Um, string split is use it to break up my project name from project so I'm going to show you how that can work and first of all let's just talk about how this 
function would work. So if I do a select, and then what I'm going to do is say uh, string split here, and then you're going to see that string split takes the project name, so a column, and then what it wants to split it by. So I want to split it by spaces. All right, so you know a typical function you would put in the select to run, and you have to say from. So I'd say like from um, project, right? But this isn't going to work like this because string split is actually a um, a function that re brings back a table. So what I need to do is have it work in conjunction with project. So what I can say here is say from project and then use the cross apply which is like doing a join and I could say string split project name and then here I can say select value and let's say and I'll explain what value is and then I'm going to say um, we'll do project um, I'll do the project name and then account number. Okay, so now let's explain all this. So value is going to be the one of the um, pieces of project name where it splits it by word. So you're going to see bike come across as one piece and then M385 is another piece and then parentheses new as a third piece. So you're going to see where string split will take the project name and then kind of slice and dice it into three separate rows. It's like a little mini table. That's what you can think of it as. And what we're going to do is take that table and, and use it with project to essentially give us our our project with the words, but then we can also see where the full word that it, you know, the full phrase that it came from. So let okay. me run this and I think you'll see what I mean. So when I run it, notice now you can see bike and then there's bike 385 new, right? And then 385 new and there's the 385 and then new and then there's the, the token. So these, these three rows all come together. The value bike 385 and new is a result of the string split. So moving on to the next one, you know, the bike R797, we have the same thing where it's taking those three values, the bike and the R797, the new, and essentially breaking them up into words. And so now I got the little words. It cross applies it back into the um, project table and then I get the three rows. Now the thing that's interesting to remember is is values like a special type of column, column which really is the result coming out of the string split. So what I can really do is I can name this anything I want. So if I, I can name this uh, like token, let's call it. All right, and then when I run it, you see it gives it a name token. So that's something that's pretty important because we're gonna use this now to take these what I call tokens, to join back into our project status. Because if you recall, if you look at project status, it has the codes all broken out, right? So here's the project names from project status. And now I can start joining the bike, the M, you know, the M385, the new, to this list. And then I can start getting my project statuses to join in. So let's do that. All right, so before we go much further, I'm going to clean up my query here and I'm going to name this the project name, okay? Because we're going to use that to join later on. So we'll just call this project name and then. I'm going to not pull this back and we're going to pull in the account number. All right. And then this is the table that this expression will return. And we're just going to keep that now kind of in our side pocket. Okay. 
and and really what we're now what our goal is is let me comment this out for a second is we want to do a select um, so we want to do a select on um, so we'll do p dot project name um, p dot um, account number and then s dot um, from project status and then inner join um, and I'm gonna just write out what we had before we had um, so we'll do project P on s dot project name equals P dot project name all right and as we know this doesn't really work well right it comes back with just the one row what I want to do is I want to take this part here which we know works pretty good and I want to replace my project here with the results of this string split so what I can do is just cut and paste this I'm going to copy this out I'm going to replace project here with the drive table we'll just use the same alias P this looks really ugly so let's kind of clean this up a little bit here um, I'll bring this down like this and bring this paren down here now hopefully you can see how this is playing out so I got a select where I'm gonna pull in the project name from the spring string split the count number and the status uh, from the project status table where the project name where we've split it out matches the project name from the project status so if I did this right we're gonna start seeing like M385 with the count number and then a the project status coming into play so let's run this as you can see now we have that so we have the project name the count number and the project status and they're all joined together so again let's do the project to wrap this up the status I'm gonna put these at the top actually what I'll do is um, a new window over here close this window and run this so now we have our projects and project status and you can see how they join into the uh, project name I can actually sort these for you ascending the name and the count numbers so in summary let's kind of unwind this so you understand what went on because I've done a lot here so what we tried to do was do a join where we were gonna match the project name to the project name but we can't because our project name from the status here is buried inside the other project name right and this happens sometimes when you have dirty data especially when people use Excel spreadsheets so what I've did is I started to tease apart the data from project name and I, how the, I did this is I used a function called string split and what's really cool about string split is unlike other functions where they just bring back a single value string split brings back what's called a table value function so it actually returns a whole table and then I can use that table in my query so here I'm literally just saying to uh, the system you know what take the project name from the project as you are going through the result and then split it by spaces so bike m385 new I'll become three different tokens 
and then cross apply essentially is like doing a cross join right but with a drive table and create a intermediate result for me and this is we're going to call this a drive table right so if I run this on its own this is the intermediate result this intermediate result drive table is alias des p right here okay so this whole thing we now refer to as p and we're interjoining it on project name whoa where the equals the project name from the status now this cool thing is at this point the project name are, is the individual words some match some don't so bikes not gonna match it's okay it gets thrown out m385 will match so we keep it and you'll see that it joins in right here in fact so now we have m385 the count number and the status and that's what comes back as our result. So when I run this, you'll see M385, the count number, and then the status. And that's how it all comes together. So the trick again is this is a drive, this creates a uh, table value function. We're creating a drive table here. Drive table is just alias. You have to do that. And then wait, and, and then just throughout the rest of the query, we're referring to that drive table as you would any other table if you aliased it so you got we got to put the p in it and and the column names that we specified on the inside and the cool thing is here is that as you can see is i can run the inside pieces on their own and it becomes an easy way to debug it so hopefully you learned a lot in this i definitely would watch it a couple of times you may have to rewind into it in some spots just to kind of catch what i did because there's definitely a lot of aspects put together here but you know if you like it, subscribe, like, and share with your friends. I'd uh, really appreciate that. And I will be back with another interesting video next week. Take care.